Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another what if video and it's been a while since we've done one of these hasn't it but I'm thinking new year fresh start we'll bring in some uh, the old classic ideas back so the good old what if videos because we, we haven't really done any for quite a while now so I'm thinking let's bring them back so if you guys have got any ideas at all let me know down below in the comments or on my discord in the video suggestions tab but without further ado let's get into this Okay, everyone. So, as you can see, I've set up the solar system with some asteroid belts as well. So, we've got, obviously, the Kuiper belt, asteroid belt in the center. I've also added an orc cloud, but I don't think we'll really be using this. Because what we're going to be doing is, I want to see all these orbits get distorted. And we're going to throw in the largest star currently known, Stephson 2-18. We're going to place it on the edge of Planet 9's orbit. So, we're going to place it somewhere here. We're going to watch as this starts to roast everything, because that is looking pretty nasty. So, without further ado, and it's going to pull the orbits and everything here. So, we're going to see what is Stephenson suddenly appeared in the solar system in the outer regions. What sort of chaos unfolds? Look, this is the sun. That's bigger than that from this distance. Look, even Mercury, close pants to the sun. The sun is still smaller in the sky compared to that. And that is further out than Planet Nine. Planet Nine's orbit is. So, we have got some insanely crazy stuff going on here. Look at that. So, without further ado play. I think we're going to have to slow this down very, very fast. Voila. Okay, ooh. So it's already stolen some orbits. Eris, Planet 9. So it's ripping stuff out of the Kuiper Belt, effectively. Right. Run the simulation. Okay, let's watch it. Oh, we're locked onto Mercury right now. Let's lock onto the sun. There you go. So that's all, that's all business as normal. Or is it? Because Earth, 600 degrees right now and increasing. <laughs> Venus, 83. Venus is 83? What? <laughs> we are in the new update of the game, so maybe Venus is a little upset by uh, the new surface uh, or new elements. So we'll just replace it with the generic Venus because then that will have its proper stats. There you go. And then we'll see it. Yeah, that's looking more like it. Yeah, Venus didn't have its correct stats because it's from a, imported from an older version of the game. So there we go. That's fixed that. That makes more sense. How's Mars doing? Yeah, that all makes more sense temperature-wise. Right, anyways. Increase the time. Oh, Planet Nine's been engulfed. Completely sucked into it. Oh, gone. Boom. Oh, look at the Kuiper Belt. This is what we wanted to... This is what I was hoping would happen. Look at the Kuiper Belt be torn to shreds. Probably even this Oort Cloud could get upset over a long period of time. Right. Look at the asteroids get hotter. The asteroids from the Kuiper Belt, they're going orange before they swoop round. Oh, that's so cool. Neptune, how are we doing over here? 400 degrees. 500. Increasing. Whoa. Look at it. Just tear apart everything we know right in seconds here. This is just crazy. In the inner solar system, even this is in turmoil, Venus is glowing hot, pretty much its own glowing star at this point. Mars, 710, Earth will be quite hot at 1,000. Mercury, probably the coolest of them all, actually, 681, has no atmosphere. There it is. So the further it, when it orbits behind the sun, it's got less luminosity from Stevenson on it, I guess. <laughs> Pluto, 400, oh, what's happened to Pluto's texture? That looks like it's been changed. Sedna, how are we doing over here? 420 at Sedna, even over there at Sedna, still not looking good. Look at this system be torn to shreds, though. This is great stuff. <laughs> so, Neptune. Looks like Iris may be on a death charge into the Nephistephson there. Don't think it's going to survive that. No, it's gone. I think most of the solar system is going to get pulled in. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay. The whole asteroid belt's glowing hot. Look, all the objects are glowing orange now. Now, will any planets survive this? Because the whole inner solar system is on a collision course. It's like Saturn. It's like Uranus and Neptune may be able to make it out. but Or maybe not Neptune. Maybe Uranus. Maybe if Uranus gets lucky. But it's not just uh, what if Stephson appears in the solar system. It's how does this, the question is more like how does the solar system get destroyed by Stephenson? <laughs> right. Uh, without further ado, as you can see, there's no escaping that. Yeah, Uranus's orbit's been destroyed, but it's still going to clash with that. So it's just going to engulf the entire solar system. There's the inner solar system. still orbiting the sun all nicely. The sun's pull is still stronger at this distance by the looks of things, but I don't think that's going to last for too much longer. I mean, you've got the whole line up over here. Not looking great. But as we can see, the asteroid belt is now being torn up. 
as well. Kuiper belt's already been destroyed. The asteroid belt itself is now also being shredded. Torn away from the sun's gravity. So there we go. Let's a little faster. There you go. Being engulfed by it. Oh dear. And I think as soon as that sun crashes into it, it may nova straight away. Mercury, Venus, their orbits have been engulfed. I think Venus is going to be first to go. It's just on that wrong place at the wrong time. Venus is going. Oh, it's getting engulfed. And I think the, I think the sun will be next. Looks like it is going to be. Sun is next on the collision course. I think that's going to go boom, boom. <laughs> I think it's definitely... Yeah, oh, oh. oh. I increased in size a bit, didn't it? Oh, damn. So... If you speed up time now, that'll probably just engulf everything left. 10 AU. That's like a quasi star size now. It's literally become a quasi star. <laughs> How big is the quasi? I think quasi's about 10, isn't it? The high petrical star. Oh no, quasi's still bigger, never mind. But yeah, that's still a, that's still a big medicine size star for sure. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, got still a few objects. Oh dear, look at the remains of the Kuiper belt. How's our uh, Oort Cloud out at the back doing there? Uh... So Asteroid and Kuiper Belt's all just been slung out. Look at the mess this has made. Let's just speed up. So I want to see if that Oort Cloud does get upset. Oh, it looks like it... Ooh. That's a lot of material being slung out for sure. How fast does it go then? Let's just keep going. Simulation will not run any faster than that. But you can see we're actually heading... The Oort Cloud's just been... That's just going to collapse now. There's no sensor of gravity for the Oort Cloud. Now there's no more sun, so... That's all just going to collapse down or break apart eventually. There's nothing holding them there anymore. Oh dear. So we had a few survivors. There's your line up there. Far, far out. TG387, Makemaki, Himea, Sedna, Quarkor, and 2013 VY27. The only objects that survived that encounter. Still got a bit of the asteroid belt orbs in around the star, but other than that, I think that is everything. So, there we go. So that is what would happen if Stephenson suddenly appeared in the solar system about distance of planet nine. <laughs> oh, wow. We, but anyways, guys, if you've got more suggestions, some more, what if videos, please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Cause I'd love to get back into doing these again. Cause these are always been good fun. And we did, we did loads of them back in the day. So it'd be great to bring them back and have them, uh, as a little video every few weeks, that'd be great. So yeah, let me know what you, uh, what you want to see. If you're in my discord, put them in the video suggestion chat as well. And I'll see, if you're watching the video, if you're not in the Discord, just put it in the comments and I'll definitely be reading those. But anyways, guys, if you didn't already, make sure to press that like button. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video, guys. And yeah, if you uh, did enjoy it as well, make sure to press that subscribe button if you haven't already and help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. But anyways, guys, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.